Well, welcome to the RIBA, the Royal Institute of British Architects, right in the centre of London, which will be the venue for Powder Flow 2011. This is a wonderful Art Deco building, 1934, built just round the corner from the BBC at the end of Regent Street, which of course will be perfect for your Christmas shopping. But you're not here to shop. We are here to discuss the science of Powder Flow. The science of powder flow is as much about fundamental physics as about applied product development. It covers the fields of chemical engineering, pharmaceutical sciences, colloid science. A couple of years ago I had um, started to work on powder flow and powder rheology for my own research. And I wanted to attend an event where all the experts will be gathered and will be discussing the most relevant and the most salient points of powder rheology and I couldn't find at such an event. So with the Formulation Science and Technology Group, I decided to set it up, to set up Powder Flow 2009. It was a great success, a unique opportunity for networking and meeting the thought leaders in the field. And I hope that Powder Flow 2011 will be the same, a unique opportunity for networking and talking with the best in the industry. Powder Flow is really a group effort and I am very, very grateful to the scientific committee that has helped me to select the best scientists in the world. Powder Flow 2011 will be a success because you will make it a success. I shall be expecting your abstracts for your posters. I'll be listening to your questions and of course you will be joining in the networking sessions. Powder Flow 2011 will take place on Tuesday, the 6th of December, here in this wonderful venue. The other date to remember is the early bird registration deadline, Friday the 4th of November, which is also the deadline for sending in your abstracts for poster presentations. If you want more information about the event, please have a look at our website, powderflow2011.com. I very much look forward to seeing you in London in December.